Anna Delvey. The name alone conjures images of lavish parties, designer clothes, and an audacious spirit. She was the it girl, the one everyone wanted to befriend. But behind the curated Instagram life and whispered European accent hid a shocking truth. Anna Delvey wasn't who she claimed to be. She wasn't a German heiress with a trust fund. Instead, she was Anna Sorokin, a Russian-born woman who had built her empire on a foundation of lies. She charmed her way into the hearts and wallets of New York City's elite. They were none the wiser. Hotels, banks, even private jets. Anna's web of deceit spanned far and wide. Her elaborate cons funded a lifestyle most could only dream of. But like all facades, hers eventually crumbled. The law caught up with her, the truth unraveled. Anna Delvey, the name she crafted to infiltrate a world obsessed with status, became synonymous with deception. Fast forward to today. The courtroom drama is behind her. Anna Delvey is ready for her next act. This time, it's not a penthouse suite or a private art club. It's the glittering ballroom of Dancing with the Stars. For those unfamiliar, Dancing with the Stars pairs celebrities with professional dancers. Each week, they learn a new dance style and compete for the coveted Mirrorball Trophy. It's a whirlwind of sequins, spray tans, and intense competition. The show thrives on captivating personalities and compelling backstories. And Anna Delvey, she brings both in spades. Her presence has injected the upcoming season with a healthy dose of intrigue and controversy. But can she dance? Will her time on the show be a redemption arc or a train wreck? Only time will tell. One thing's for sure, America will be watching. Of course, Anna's journey to the dance floor isn't without its hurdles. She might be out of prison, but she's not entirely free. Anna is currently serving her sentence under house arrest. This means strict restrictions on her movements and activities. No impromptu late night rehearsals or celebratory outings with her fellow contestants. Her every move is monitored. It's a unique set of challenges for both Anna and the show's producers. How do you incorporate someone into a dance competition when they can't even leave their apartment? Creative solutions have been found. Remote rehearsals, special accommodations on set, and even the possibility of performing some routines from her apartment are all on the table. It's a testament to Anna's unconventional journey and the show's willingness to adapt. Anna Delvey might be the most talked about contestant, but she's not the only star taking the dance floor. This season boasts a diverse and intriguing cast of characters, each with their own stories to tell. We have a beloved sitcom star hoping to recapture her comedic timing. A retired athlete ready to tackle the tango. A pop icon looking to shed their squeaky clean image. The competition is fierce and everyone is vying for that mirrorball trophy. But let's be real, all eyes are on Anna. Her presence adds a layer of drama and unpredictability that's hard to ignore. Will she use this platform to apologize for her past? Or will she continue to play the role of the ultimate anti-heroine? Section five, a dance with controversy. The public reacts. The announcement of Anna Delvey joining Dancing with the Stars sent shockwaves through social media. Opinions are divided, to say the least. Some are outraged, viewing her inclusion as glorifying a convicted criminal. They argue she hasn't served enough time for her crimes and shouldn't be given a platform. The hashtag at boycott DWTS is gaining traction, with some former viewers vowing to tune out this season. On the other side of the spectrum are those who are fascinated by Anna's story. 
they see her as a product of a culture obsessed with wealth and status. To them, she's a cautionary tale, a reminder that not everything is as it seems. And then there are those who simply can't resist the drama of it all. They're tuning in for the sheer entertainment value, eager to see how Anna navigates this new stage. Love her or hate her, you can't deny she's captivating to watch. The big question on everyone's mind, can Anna Delvey redeem herself through the power of dance? It's a tall order, especially given the severity of her crimes. She's facing an uphill battle to win over a sceptical public. Some argue that her participation in a light-hearted show like Dancing with the Stars trivialises her actions. They question whether she's truly remorseful or simply using the platform for her own gain. Others are willing to give her a chance. They believe in second chances and the power of redemption. They're hoping to see vulnerability and authenticity from Anna, a glimpse behind the carefully constructed persona. Ultimately, it's up to Anna to decide how she wants to use this opportunity. Will she express remorse for her past? Will she use her platform to advocate for criminal justice reform? Or will she continue to play the role of the cunning manipulator? Imagine trying to perfect a Viennese waltz while confined to your apartment. That's the reality for Anna Delvey as she tackles the challenges of Dancing with the Stars under house arrest. Rehearsals are a logistical nightmare. Her professional dance partner can't just pop over for a quick run through. Every practice session requires careful coordination with her parole officer and the show's producers. Then there's the issue of space. Apartments, even spacious ones, aren't exactly ideal for practicing elaborate dance routines. Anna has had to get creative, using furniture as makeshift bars and limited floor space to perfect her steps. And let's not forget the mental toll. Being under constant surveillance can be stifling, especially for someone used to the freedom and excitement of her former life. It takes a certain kind of resilience and determination to pursue a physically and mentally demanding activity like dancing under these conditions. Dancing with the Stars has a long history of offering celebrities a chance to rehabilitate their image. From athletes overcoming scandals to actors shedding typecasting, the ballroom has become a surprising stage for personal transformations. But can it work for someone like Anna Delvey? Can a few minutes of cha-chas and foxtrots erase the memory of her elaborate cons and the victims she left in her wake? Some argue that her presence on the show sends the wrong message. They believe it normalizes and even glamorizes her criminal behavior, sending a dangerous message to young people. They worry that focusing on her dancing prowess overshadows the seriousness of her crimes. Others see it as an opportunity for growth and accountability. They hope that facing the public and putting in the hard work required for the competition will demonstrate a genuine desire to change. They believe that allowing her to participate in a show that emphasizes teamwork and discipline could be a step towards rehabilitation. Only time will tell if Anna Delvey can successfully use Dancing with the Stars as a platform for redemption. But one thing's for sure, her journey will be closely watched and analyzed every step of the way. As the season finale of Dancing with the Stars approaches, speculation mounts about Anna Delvey's future. Will she waltz away with the Mirrorball trophy? More importantly, will she manage to change public perception and carve out a new path for herself? The possibilities are endless. Will she leverage her newfound platform to launch a career in entertainment? Will she use her experience to advocate for criminal justice reform? Or will she retreat from the spotlight, seeking a quieter life away from the prying eyes of the public? Whatever path she chooses, one thing is certain. Anna Delvey's story is far from over. She remains a captivating and polarizing figure, 
a walking paradox who embodies both the allure and the dangers of ambition, deception, and the relentless pursuit of the American dream. Only time will tell what the future holds for this enigmatic figure. But one thing's for sure, we'll be watching, captivated as she takes her next 